Uh, now, the Duke of York is expected to be named among the 170 Epstein associates set to be revealed in unsealed documents that were filed as part of Ghislaine Maxwell's case. The decision by Judge Loretta Presca has been welcomed by Prince Andrew's accuser, Virginia Giuffre. Now, she took to Twitter saying, Merry early Christmas, dozens of Jeffrey Epstein associates, victims likely to be publicly ID'd in court docs in coming weeks. Thank you and many blessings for Judge Presca, a truth seeker and justice maker. Well, joining us now to discuss this further is journalist and royal biographer Angela Levin. Very good to see you this morning, Thank Angela. You. And tell us a bit more about this. So we're expecting this list of associates of Jeffrey Epstein to be released on New Year's Day, yes. I believe. Yes, I mean, there's going to be a lot of people who are not going to enjoy this Christmas. It's coming out right at the beginning of January, oh. and it's anyone who's had anything to do with him. And it will be um, a huge revelation. Apparently some of the names are extremely well known and will shock us all. But we know that one of the names is of course Prince Andrew and it's going to ruin his Christmas and maybe the whole royal families. I mean he paid out 12 million pounds to um, uh, Virginia Roberts um, saying that he'd never met her and hoped that it would all go away. But we know it hasn't gone away at all. She's been determined to get more people to be accused when they have behaved so badly. Um, so it's very, very difficult. And um, I think it's quite interesting that um, Prince Andrew has been trying lately, so I hear, to get back and to do something mm, for the to be family because member. there's also um, that sort of stuff, sort of people to do it mm. really. And uh, King Charles has been very firm um, and and said absolutely not. And I think he must be quite relieved about that. Um, I don't suppose now that we would see him. He's been invited for lunch. He was invited last year at Sandringham for a Christmas lunch, but um, I don't think we'll see. Him go to church with everyone when they're outside and people could start shouting and all those things. I think he will keep very hidden and quite right too. And it's quite interesting because if you look that amount of money that he spent mm -hmm. um, absolutely saying he didn't know her and not saying he was guilty in any way, these things don't work necessarily. They bounce back and back again and again and again. And um, there's one woman who says that her name is Joanna Schoberg and 22 years ago she sat on his lap, she admits that, and he started groping her breast. This is Prince Andrew we're talking this about. This is Prince Andrew, yes. So um, he's in for but perhaps another sort of but direct But just because attack. his name, is, this is a list of associates, that's what it's being called, it doesn't mean they're guilty of anything, does it? No, it doesn't mean that anybody's guilty, but it means that you can then investigate whether they're guilty. There'll be a lot of people saying, um, well, perhaps this has happened to them and it's been, you know, why were they friends? Mm. Uh, and that will be more investigations. So it'll go on and on and on and on, I think. Have we heard anything from Prince Andrew about this allegation of, of groping, the one that, that you just no, described? No, um, it's only just we come out. To? I don't know. I mean, that, that you might keep him quiet and he might want to say something, but he's, as we've seen when he was on Panorama um, years ago, that uh, he's not very good at expressing himself and explaining, and I don't think he'll say anything. I think they'll say, you know, be quiet. Mm. I think what is a terrible shame for the royal family is that it, it's going to be released on New Year's Day. Mm. That would normally be a day when we talk about the New Year's honours and we're celebrating the good in our society. Yes. This will overshadow it. If we're yes, not of course it will. It? This will be the... Um, I'm not quite sure it will be actually on New Year's Day. It's supposed to be, but because that's a holiday in America, they might move it on a little bit, mm. and I hope so, because it would be a shame to spoil... New Year's Day is quite special, isn't it? Yeah. You're looking for the whole year, and you want it to be positive, because it's been so negative for a long time now, and we need something positive. But um, I, I don't, I'm not quite sure about that, but I think it might be put off for a, a few days. And what do we know about Prince Andrew's relationship now with the royal family and, and, and Beatrice and Eugenie? In particular. Yes. Well, his, his children have always supported him. They've been very good. And Beatrice was the one who actually said to him, you should not go on Panorama. This is not right. She's known as the most sensible person within that foursome. And um, she, he didn't take any notice with her. But she's not actually begrudged him 
they do love each other all very much, mm. but they the just whole family think does, actually, the whole family yeah. is very close. And um, I, I don't think that it's made much difference. Mm. And um, his ex-wife, <laughs> the Duchess of York, um, has always been supportive of him. She's always said sometimes little ridiculous things like, you know, he's the most wonderful husband, he's the most wonderful um, uh, father, he's absolutely the most wonderful man you can ever imagine. Well, it, it doesn't quite work like that when you hear stories about him, not just about Virginia Gupre. And um, it's 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 difficult for them, but they are very supportive. He's very lucky. Mm -hmm. And actually, it was Camilla who invited him and made sure he came last year for a meal. She doesn't bear grudges on anyone. Mm. Um, and uh, he he did come and he will be going again this year. And so there's a sort of support for him. I tell you what, I'm looking forward to that documentary they've made that's going to be shown on Boxing it Day. It sounds absolutely amazing. A year since the uh, the whole um, accession, actually, isn't it? And the um, and Princess Anne has been interviewed in it. Yes, she never talks. So and she, no, she, never and she actually interview. said Camilla has been wonderful support to Charles. Yes. Um, and, and she says lovely things. She says that the Queen was very worried about dying in Balmoral yes. because she was worried that it, that would really make things difficult for funeral plans. Isn't that amazing and they to said, think and they, about that? The family yeah. said to her, don't worry about things like that. You yes. be when you, where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And as it worked out, it was wonderful. So that yes. documentary is going to be shown on Boxing Day. I'm really yes. looking forward mm -hmm. to that. It's 90 minutes, but I expect that we could have watched much more than oh, that. Much because more. if they're opening up and talking, and it, astonishing that Princess Anne has actually agreed to mm -hmm. say that, it's lovely. But I think that she also said that how difficult it would be to change from respecting the Queen to respecting her older brother, because at some Sometimes she's quite bossy towards him. <laughs> um, and um, she said, but it, it, it came very quickly. Oh. And I think that's a wonderful sentence to hear because they have been you know, at each other's arms. And she didn't like Camilla originally. But she does but she now. Da she hugely mm. does now because uh, it made him so happy that they have a lot in common, you know, horses, dogs, mm. all that outside country life. And they're now very, very good friends, which is lovely, actually. Mm. It's really lovely. No grievances that mm. you carry on and on and on. No, it's decades. a sense of continuity. I think we all learned from Queen Elizabeth as well. Angela, we've got to leave it there. I could talk okay. about this forever. Me but too. we. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's so fascinating at Christmas. You know, we, we concentrate on our families, but we're also talking about the royal family still, which is lovely. It is. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Thank Angela. You.